Hello friends, welcome to another Hardcore Bob tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Valhalla Vintage Verb. It's my favorite plugin for Reverb, along with its cousin Valhalla Room. These people at Valhalla are just outstanding in the world of creating space and ambiance. Now the song I'll be demonstrating today is a song called Amsterdam, which was recorded by the very famous Dutch rock band Vat Vas that. Now folks, for those of you just getting started in production, let's talk about what is reverb. A lot of people like to think about it as that long echo or tail of a sound. One way that I like to think about it is as space or three-dimensionality. What do you mean by that, Bob? Music is often thought about in a flat plane, as if to say that there's a left speaker and a right speaker and the center. But reverb adds another dimension to it. Reverb has this beautiful ability to give the music a sense of front and back, giving it that third dimension quality. When something has no reverb at all, it sounds like it's right up close, sort of the way my voice sounds, doesn't it? But if you put a bunch of reverb on my voice, oh, suddenly I sound like I'm across the room from you. Just a great little magic trick, I think. So let's listen to a little bit of Amsterdam before I start putting some Valhalla vintage verb on it. I've just always adored that one because who doesn't long for travel and love? So why don't we start by putting a little bit of Valhalla vintage verb on the guitar. Now let's talk about what we're looking at here. Of course the mix knob here that's just how much of the signal do you want? Now the first thing your eye goes to is this big round decay knob here isn't it? A lot of people like to describe decay as the tail, the length of the tail. Simply put that's just how long do you want the reverb to last before it dies out? So here's the guitar without any reverb at all. Okay, now let's put a little reverb on there. So right now the decay is set to 0.2 seconds. What does that mean? That means that the reverb is only going to last 0.2 seconds. Now as I turn up the decay knob, notice how the length of the reverb lasts longer. This decay, folks, lasts up to a staggering 70 seconds. Can you imagine doing anything for 70 seconds? Down here we have the pre-delay, and all that means, folks, is once the sound has already started, when would you like the reverb to kick in? If it's set to zero milliseconds, then the reverb will start instantly when the sound starts. But this can go up to 500 milliseconds, which means that the reverb won't start until 500 milliseconds after the sound has started. See here how the reverb starts instantly? There's no space between the sound and the reverb. Now let's turn up the pre-delay. Oh. Now because I love space and I think the guitar could use a little more of it, I'm just going to turn the decay up just a little more. Now let's talk about what's going on down here a little bit. These modes are simply different types of spaces, and they each come with their own characteristics. You can read more about what's going on specifically down here. Over here we have color, and that does more than just change the color of the plugin. These different color settings are essentially emulating different reverb hardware from across the decades. So for example, in the 70s and 80s, the reverb hardware was darker and noisier. Where if we do a current setting or a now setting, we're going to have bright and clean modulations. Let's see if you can hear the difference. And over here on the right we have our presets, which I won't spend too much time getting into, but I'll tell you, there are fantastic presets here and all kinds of wonderful effects. Let's put some Valhalla vintage verb over the drums and see what happens. So here's the drums without any vintage verb. Now over here we have our damping console. 
Now damping, of course, is very much what it sounds like. It essentially dampens the higher frequencies that maybe you don't want. Reverb can be a very costly decision because in your mix, it'll take up a lot of frequency space. And so if you'd like to clean up some of the high end and make room for other high things, you might want to dampen these high frequencies. Down here, we have some very interesting and granular controls. This knob right here will multiply the length of time that this frequency will last. What do I mean by that? Let's say our decay is set to about 2 seconds. If this is set to 2x, that will mean that this frequency, or 800 hertz in this case, will be elongated to 4 seconds. And of course, if I set this to 3x, 800 hertz will be elongated for 6 seconds. You see how that works? So let's extend some of those lower frequencies so you can see what I'm talking about. And we turn that up. Let's turn it up to 4. You hear that? So now these 800 hertz frequencies are lasting for 8 seconds. Okay, now let's talk about shape. You might want to think of shape as the size of the room you're in. So if you're recording in a tiny little bedroom, but you'd like to be in a big old arena, turn up the size. And the attack knob is basically saying, do you want the reverb to start right away, or would you like it to gradually come in? Now let's talk about this diff area. Diff stands for diffusion, and it's one of my favorite parts of the plugin. Reverb has a lot of density, a lot of stuff going on inside. I like to think of reverb as a big cloud that gets smaller and thinner over time. Now in that long tail, you can choose where you want the density to be. Do you want the thickness of the cloud to be toward the end or toward the beginning? Most people would assume it would have to be in the beginning. Not so with the diffusion knob. If you'd like, you can make the thickness be just early or just late or both. Let's see if we can hear the difference. You hear how the thickness is right away? Now let's set it for late. Now these mod knobs over here put a little swirliness into your reverb. Sort of like if you were to take a stick and put it inside that cloud and do that. You can think of depth as how deep into the cloud you stick that stick in. And you can think of rate as how fast do you move that stick. Now in the EQ module, this is where you'll really be able to sculpt the brightness or darkness of your reverb. Let's first cut the highs and make it darker. Now let's cut the lows and make it brighter. Just sounds like you're at the Grand Freaking Canyon, doesn't it? Now folks, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that Valhalla Vintage Verb is one of my top five favorite plugins to put on absolutely everything. So let's put Valhalla Verb on some of these tracks and then we'll put it on the master bus and see what that sounds like. All right, let's put a little reverb on that guitar. And of course on the drums. Just give it a little bit more space, and we'll put Valhalla Vintage Verb on everything. Let's try once again without. I think that was good. So there you have it, folks. That's Valhalla Vintage Verb. You can find a link in the description box below to purchase it, and you can also find some of their cousin plugins like Valhalla Room and Valhalla Shimmer and a whole bevy of others. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe and all that, and I'll see you next time on Hardcore Bop.